welcome to another video in this video i will tell you how you can convert a subgrid on a form to be an editable subgrid you can see here this is the nominee subgrid that is part of investment and here you will find these records which are part of the subgrid is not editable in line right you, to edit that you have to open the record and edit here in this in, in a different form or a different screen right but this is what I don't want. I can edit here. There is no problem. But my requirement is on the investment form as because the nominee subgrid is there. If I want to edit, I can edit in line at this place without navigating to another screen. So how can you convert this to an editable grid component so that users can edit in line? Let us see how we can do that. This is investment form that means you have to edit the investment main form where you find this subgrid so go here into your solution go to investment entity forms then open the main form and edit a new tab and when you edit a new tab you will find the form in editable mode you have to select the subgrid if you want to convert a subgrid to an editable subgrid now the form is loading you have to wait for some seconds right so this is the form and here this is the nominee subgrid right and i want to change this nominee subgrid uh, let me just uh, scroll just to make a zoom out yes this is the subgrid now if you go right side uh, properties you will find three sections in the property display option then we have a formatting and we have a component inside the component you can use a editable component editable grid component for this subgrid click on add component and choose editable grid you can also use calendar uh, component but for now i want to show you editable grid so click on this editable grid now once you click editable grid it will open a small screen where you can choose some uh, informations like subgrid information and group by information and all that right you can choose the subgrid view which table it is connecting to you can choose this is connecting to nominee so scroll down and uh, choose nominee right you can choose which view you want to display in the editable grid editable grid now it is done right any other fields you want to add let's say you want to add filtering you can add right if you want to add grouping you can enable it or you can disable it if you don't want would not want to add grouping right so you can click on done after choosing in which device you want to enable this uh, editable subgrid if you want to use in all devices you can select all and click on done now publish it now this became a this become a an editable grid now if you refresh the form after publishing this form users can now edit records in this subgrid in line without navigating to another screen now let us go and try to edit that we have to wait till the publish is success so don't don't be so rush you have to wait for the publishing process completes And you can also change the main view this is just a shop grid i am changing as a editable grid but if you want to change a uh, view complete view let's say i am clicking investment this is a complete view active view you can also change this as a sub uh, editable grid without uh, you know navigating to a new screen you can edit the values here in line right i will show you in some other video yeah now it is published let me open an investment you see now once the investment is opened you see you can find a inline editing option i can change it directly okay let's say it is 75 and here i want to make it 25 i can change the relationship type also right i can change the verified from no to yes accordingly i can also change the uh, contact this will give you a drop down okay 
if you double click it will open the record do not double click you just click one click and it will edit if you delete this you can choose one this is a uh, lookup field right so it will display as a drop down and the name can be updated and everything can be updated in line right and you can save it if anything changed you can save it otherwise if you go out after you edit one uh, record values and go outside it is auto saved but if it is not saved you are on the same uh, row in editing mode you can click this save option so that it will by default save the changes so you understand how it works you can also use grouping if you want to group by name you want to group by contact right the same contact has two records right you can use by percentage owned this is 25 percent so grouping is very important and very useful okay two records with no edge verifier right you can group it okay you can enable the search functionality also in the grid if you go here in the uh, formatting sorry in the display option you can enable the search option uh, what is that option you will find yes hide search box is there you can disable this so that it will enable the search box so any record from a subgrid can be searched you see the search box is now displaying here right if you publish it will display there so there are other options also allow users to change view it, it, there is a view displaying here right but right now there is no uh, view selector uh, in a nominee has many views active nominees inactive nominees but it is not allowed but if you allow here uh, show nominees uh, sorry uh, allow users to change the view users can change one view to another view right you see active nominees is now displaying here as a drop down right so users can view so these properties you can use in addition to the uh, editable grid now go here and refresh i'm expecting the source box will display here so this is very useful uh, configuration piece of configuration you can use in your project you see I, I can find out i can search here any record so this search box will help you to search records okay so thank you guys i hope uh, it helps you in your project to implement uh, editable subgrids thanks everyone bye